Good morning, MBTHS, and welcome to our March edition of the MBTV School News. We hope everyone is wide awake and pushing through the day as we have one more week till spring break. I'm not sure I'm ever wide awake because there's always so much going on. There's also so much going on at the school. Since our last news, a lot has happened, a lot is happening, and a lot's going to happen. So let's not waste any time and get right to it. With the recent incident in Parkland, Florida, a big concern has been raised not only about gun laws, but also about school safety in general. Safety and security is definitely on the minds of every student and every teacher. We take you over to Alex to get more information on school security. The director, Mike Misero, um, what are your concerns about school shootings? Well, not so much school shootings, but school, school security in, in general. I want you to realize this is not a new topic, okay? School security and violence in schools in the United States dates back to 1927. So basically how security directors look at it, we basically break it down into two groups, internal threats and external threats. Now the external threats are the one that you've been seeing the most about lately. That's um, you know what happened in Florida, what happened in Connecticut. Internal threats are more like what happened in um, Columbine or Jonesburg, Columbine, Colorado. How do you think we can prevent these um, from happening? Well, it's interesting that you say that because everybody's saying prevention, prevention, how do we prevent them? But you know, well, it's because society has changed. We've devalued life, okay? We've, we've had a culture of violence for years and years and years where our movies, our video games, our, our respect of people. In my day, we went out, we played football in the street, we didn't stay inside playing games, and we had arguments all the time. We had fist fights all the time. Nobody ever thought of shooting up a school or running over people with a truck. The problem is not the gun, it's society in general. Are you concerns about school safety? Um, well, I feel, I feel I'm, I'm safe in this school, so I don't feel like there are any concerns at all, really. Um, how do you feel at school? Do you feel safe, secure? No, I do not. And why is that? Because I feel like at the back doors by where the by where the football team goes into, they're easy to pop through, so anyone can get in and shoot up the school. What are your concerns about school safety? My concerns about school safety is I believe that the school should be more safer and take more precautions to to be making the school more safer. Um, how about you, Kaja? I feel like in school a lot of things can happen and not everything can be prevented by you know security. And again. Thank you, and I do have to say I feel safe here. I'm glad we have our drills and a great security system set in place. In addition to that, I think we have more on school safety later in the news. Yes, but on a lighter note, up next we have a new project from the National Art Honor Society. It's been reported that the walls are being painted and the new art and music wing. Let's take a look. We've got Amy Velez on the story. National Arts Honor Society will be taking on a new project, which is painting the mural on the music department walls. How do you feel about these walls being so plain? Honestly, I think that's really sad because I've been a part of this music department since my freshman year, and these walls have always stayed the same. And that's really sad because you have so many creative things happening in this one hallway, and just like these two rooms down here, you have so many things happening and so many people, you know, share, expressing themselves and being creative. And so I think this wall right here should really show what kind of kids work down here. Thank you. Did you have any input in the design? Um, so several students uh, from the Art Honor Society came down to the music office and um, we looked at a couple of different art styles and myself and Miss Moreno and Mr. Ford um, picked out a style that we liked and then we sent the art students off to go designing the mural. What impact do you hope the mural will have on the music department overall? Um, I hope it's a, uh, a positive morale and identity boost. Uh, I love how the murals came out in the art wing. I think it brings vibrance to the department. Um, the music wing is a place that we like to feel like is home to a lot of the kids in this school. There are a lot of kids that are always down here for different projects, collaborating with each other, being social with each other. And, and so um, having a mural here that we can take pride in and that exudes the energy that the music department has, I think will be a great thing. Thank you. Welcome. Painter Words Magazine is an art-based magazine created by the Painter Words Club and submissions from the MBTHS student body. We take your short stories, poems, artwork, and more and put them together to create a memorable magazine. 
The magazine this year is tarot card themed, and we need submissions to make the magazine come to life. They will be judged and possibly selected to be part of the project. All works can be submitted to Miss Molina or Miss Drolia or their mailboxes, preferably within the month of February. The works do not have to necessarily fit the theme, and your name should be included if you do not want to stay anonymous. Please think about contributing to the magazine. It's always a memorable experience. Thank you for the announcement. And Amy, I have to say that mural is going to look fire when it's done. Anything we can do to beautify the art and music department is better and long overdue. I 100% agree. You know what else is beautiful? We had just over a week until spring break. It's about 10 days away. Are you doing anything over spring break? I really am not looking forward to spring break. Why not? Because I work early shifts every day. I'm just going to be sleeping most of the day. I got to catch up on my sleep, so. Lucky. We had our very own Nick Rivera out in the halls talking to some of the students about what they're doing over spring break. Thanks guys. So I'm with my friend Bianca here. Okay, so I'm with Ryan Gorad. My name's Sheba. My name's Hassan. My name's Shania. So what do you intend to do over spring break? Well, I'm going to be going down to uh, Ecuador. That's all I'm going to be doing. Okay. To family over Seems there. Seems very interesting. I'm going to Maryland for a travel convention with my mom. Best time of the year, you know, playing on chill and, you know, taking a break from school. I'm trying to get my hair done. And enjoying my time off and hopefully the weather. Be nice. Uh, I'm gonna stay home and play the PlayStation. Oh, great. Yeah. Take advantage of the time. And I he's gonna get my birthday gift ready. <laughs> so, uh, since spring break is right around the corner, are you excited for it? Do you have like the feeling already? Well, I'm kind of excited, but at the same time, well, yeah, I am excited actually. <laughs> you know, the feeling hasn't really kicked in, but I know it's gonna kick in in the next week or two. Yes, because I'm gonna be out of school. <laughs> yeah, because like, as my mom is a travel agent, I get to go to a lot of places. So. Oh, it sounds cool. a lot basic. Well, from the looks of it, spirits are up, hopes are high, and the day's drawing near. Back to you guys in the studio. And remember, have a fantastic spring break. See you later. Thanks, Nick. And speaking of breaks, we'll be right back after this quick message. Hey, guess what? What? I got a compliment Graham sent to me in homeroom today. What's a compliment gram? A compliment gram is part of our school's new project called the Butterfly Project to spread positivity. You can send a compliment to anyone in the school. Wow, that sounds cool. How do I send one? It's easy. Just find the silver box on the stage in the commons. Grab a piece of paper from the side of it. Write your compliment and put it back in the box. Be sure to put the person's full name and homeroom teacher on it. Then it gets sent right away to students' homeroom. This project was designed to spread positivity in hopes of lowering the rate of bullying. You never know, sending someone a positive note can help them get through their day. Welcome back, and I really can't stop thinking about spring break. You know the administration doesn't have off that week? That's really unfortunate. That means they can't sleep the week away like me. They'll be here in the school making sure that everything is ready to go and that we're safe. Even Mr. Neller. Yep, Mr. Neller's going to be here all spring break. Speaking of which, let's slide to him with Principal Corner. Good morning, this is Mr. Neller. For this month's Principal's Corner, I am actually standing in front of our auditorium where throughout the school year, we have many wonderful events that take place. None more special than the March 14th walkout that just took place yesterday in our auditorium where a thousand North Brunswick High School students walked out in solidarity with the students from Parkland, Florida to show their support after the, the horrific school shooting that took place there in February. Um, our students came into the auditorium. They were well behaved. I want to thank the student leaders who came forward to speak with me so we could help plan an event for them that would meet their desires to have both silent protest and an opportunity to speak to our community and school leaders about their feelings on school security. After the initial event ended, over 100 students remained in the auditorium and asked questions of the police department, our superintendent, Dr. Zakowski and our mayor, Mayor Womack, asked questions of them on school security and overall events related to the Parkland shooting. All the student questions were appropriate and I could tell that many of you were passionate about what you were saying and I just want to encourage you not to stop the conversation there. I want students to keep talking about this because it's going to take the work of the youth of America today to make real change to prevent future school shootings. So I hope you will continue to be a voice for that change. And I want you to know my office is always open. Many of you came to me after the event yesterday to share your concerns. Some of you wrote letters um, to me. I have read everything and I have spoken to you and I will continue to speak to you. So my office is always open to you to discuss your concerns. Please don't ever hesitate to come to the main office and see me. Thank you. Continuing on what Mr. Nala said, we have some coverage on the school walkout for you. 
That's right, David Burroughs has a story fully handled. David? I was told two things. I was told that some of you wanted to sit in silence in solidarity with the students from Parkland and Florida. So as captain representing the police force, how do you feel about the Parkland shooting? Well, obviously it's a, a devastating day in our history. Anytime you have a school shooting or, or let, me, let me back up, any loss of life is not welcome. But when you have a school shooting and you have that many children and staff members that went to school to get an education to further their lives cut down like that, is, is devastating to anyone. It'd be, it's impossible to have your human side not see it that way. And what does this walkout mean to you? Well, I'm also a graduate of North Brunswick High School. Um, so to me, it makes me proud, first off, that the student body in my high school is showing the amount of emotion and the amount of support needed to make the changes needed. When asked, how do you think this affected our school, Mayor Womack said, it is the most dramatic event I have ever seen and it is the biggest effect on all of the students. When asked what he has to say to the students, he said this is a discussion that needs to stay ongoing and we have to keep planning. We're going to discuss the best system possible to keep everyone safe and the most important thing you can do is speak out. Hopefully with all the open dialogue, we'll find a quick solution to this, at least here at MBTHS. Let's hope so. There's another group at MBTHS that's hopeful, the Environmental Club. We'll be right back after this word from them. Kobe. What you do that for? Trash is trash. Nah, trash gets thrown into landfills and causes nasty pollution. Recyclable things can be recycled and turned into new, new and useful items and kept out of landfills. Oh, uh, thank you for the information. I wish I could learn more to help my school. You can. Just join Environmental Club. Wait, what? That's a thing? Yeah, uh, we meet every Thursday, um, and you can join just in time for Earth Week on April 22nd. I bet. Welcome back. Lastly, our Raider review comes from our guest reviewer, Matt Jarella. That's right. Matt went to see A Wrinkle in Time. Let's see what he's got to say about it. Welcome to another installment of Movies with Matt. Today we have the latest Disney movie, A Wrinkle in Time, based off the novel of the same name. And... Yeah, let's talk about the positives first. First things first, the lead kid, Meg, she is great in it. And so is Chris Pine for the amount of time he's in. When there's practical effects, they look excellent. And finally, the third act makes the movie slightly better. Just slightly. And now into the negatives. This is one of the most strangest criticisms, but this is both, this is a movie that is both too whimsical and too serious at the same time. It's whimsical because most of the movies is like, whoa, whoa. Like, and that, that, that's it. The second thing, and when it's serious, it treats itself a little too serious, like there's not enough jokes in it, which I'm all for. I'm, I'm not saying you can't be serious, but I'm sorry, but when Oprah looks like this, I'm not going to take it seriously. I'm sorry. Now, I can't say if this movie is accurate to the book because I haven't read it. So, um, I can't really say anything there. But overall, I give this movie a 5 out of 10. It's just... You're going to be tested every step of the way. Trust nothing. Darling, time for dinner. It's a fine movie. If you want to go see it, go see it. It's just not for me. With that said, you have a great day. I want to see it, but I don't. I think it looks great. I'm definitely going to go see it. That's about all we have, but before we leave, don't forget about these upcoming events. Go out and support your Raiders teams. Games begin for all spring sports. Boys, girls, lacrosse of games. 
baseball and softball already started playing, boys volleyball and tennis are starting up also. Be a part of Raider Nation. That's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. We hope you all have a good morning and a great day. And remember, we, we are, are North, North Brunswick. Brunswick.